Hello dear students, how are you? Hope you all are doing fine. In the last two class, we have learned lesson 3, Avani and the pea plant. Hope you all understood it very well. Great. Today, we will learn the grammar topic of this lesson. Okay. Before going to that topic, let us learn what is a verb. Verb. What is a verb? Verb is an action word. Verb, verb is an action word. Action. Verb is an action word or doing word. Doing word. So, what is a verb? Verb is an action word or doing word. Now, you got its meaning. Action word. What are the action we are doing? Those words are verb. For example, write. It's an action. Write. Jump. Eat. Run. Play. Drink. Go. Then uh, read, read, so on. All the action words are verb. Understood? Verbs are action words or doing words. Verbs are action words or doing words. Okay? Sing, dance. Then... Uh, what? Climb, sleep, play. All the doing words are verbs. Good. I hope you got what is a verb. Now, let us move to our lesson. What is that? Simple present tense. Simple present tense. It's a new term for you all. Many tenses are there in English language. But now you are starting the first tense that is simple present tense. So listen it very carefully and learn it. What is a simple present tense? Simple present tense is a verb tense that we use to describe habitual actions and general truths. What is a simple present tense? It's the definition of simple present tense. Simple present tense is a verb tense that we use to describe habitual actions and general truth. When do we use it? When do we use a simple present tense? To describe, to explain that uh, what is a habitual actions and general truth. Now, let us check. It's a new word for you, habitual action. Habitual action means what? The actions that we do in our day-to-day -day life. It's very simple. What is a, a habitual action? Have do in our day-to-day -day life. For example, wake, jump, run. These all verbs are habitual action because this all we do daily. Habitual actions. These all words we do daily. Okay? Eat, drink. Now, listen. She play tennis every evening. She play tennis every 
e venue here play is the verb play is the verb that every evening that's her work in her day to day life play but here a small mistakes mistakes means that we do in simple present tense when the subject who is doing this action she the subject is singular we should add s with verb that is simple present tense now it is a simple present tense okay she plays she plays tennis every evening now next example my father father is only one singular so we should add s with verb got it my father drives his car every day it's a, a habitual action it happens every day in his life my father drives his car every day now this sentence is in simple present tense so you understand that when the subject is singular we add s with verb okay plays drives okay we learned when the verb is uh, sorry when the subject is singular we use s with verb okay now when the action is happening at that time okay what a subject is doing on that time that time also we use simple present tense okay she only eats fish she only eats fish here she she is only one so we use s with verb okay now second one mother cooks food in the kitchen mother cooks food in the kitchen here mother is only one and so we should add s with verb next one a cat drinks milk a cat drinks milk cat is only one subject is here cat cat is only one and we add s with verb here verb is drink okay if we write here a cat drink milk that sentence is wrong if we write here mother cook food that sentence is wrong so what we want to write here a cat drinks milk now you listen carefully here see we go to school we go to school we here subject is we we means we already learned in pronouns what we means many it is plural many are there we go to school why we did not use here es sometimes it will become as es yes or es with some words we have to add es okay why we did not use here because it is plural subject is plural more than one so we should not add s s with verb only with singular in simple present tense okay we go to school now come to next sentence i brush my teeth i brush my teeth i is only one singular but that is exceptional case i brush we can't write here i brushes here i brush my teeth i we consider as plural i we consider as plural but it is only singular only one i means only one i brush my teeth we can't say i brushes my teeth then if we are writing here any name of a boy or girl hana okay i am changing this subject 
hana hana now hana is only one it's a girl hana brush my teeth this sentence is wrong hana brushes brushes hana brushes then it's not my her hana brushes her teeth understood and here also we can change like that when we change here what nima 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 go to school it is wrong nima is only one so we should add here es yes or es okay nima goes to school understood we go to school i go to school they they means more than one plural they go to school hana and nima then it's plural hana and nima go to school okay now come come to next sentence a child climbs on the tree here only s no need es a child climbs on the tree only one child is there a child climbs so we add s with verb climbs on the tree then next sentence listen the children children many are there the children climb on the tree this is the verb so should not add s with verb okay now next one when do we use simple present tense general truth with general truth or is a fact general truth that never change that fact never change for example the sun rises in the morning the sun rises sun means only one thing it is singular subject is singular here the sun rises if subject is singular what we have to add s with verb the sun rises in the morning it is a general truth it is a fact never change it okay the sun sets that also a fact that time we use simple present tense okay the sun sets in the evening here also subject sun so yes with verb now come to next line the stars twinkle at night the stars the stars here subject is the stars so it is plural when the subject is plural we should not add s with verb here verb is twinkle verb is twinkle <coughs> twinkle that is where one action it is twinkle we can't write here twinkles because stars plural so the stars twinkle at night that also can't change it's a fact okay so we use a simple present tense the stars twinkle at night next one the moon changes its shape every day the moon only one the moon so here yes the moon changes its shape every day i hope you understood it okay then when we uh, when do we use simple present tense yes with habitual actions or what happens in our day to day life daily life that time we use simple present tense when a action is happening on that time present time okay then next one with general truth or is a fact if it is a general truth or uh fact we use in simple present tense okay and uh, what we have to listen an important thing is when the subject is singular we add s with verb in simple present tense okay when the subject is plural we should not add s 
If subject is singular, we add S or ES with the verb or with the action word. If subject is plural, we should not add S or ES with the verb that you listen very carefully. Okay, now let us do our work in the textbook. Now children, take your textbook and open page number 39, Comprehension. If you do with me, it will be easy for you. Okay, match the people and animals in A with their actions in B. Two columns are here, A and B. And here the people, Amma, Avani, Chikki, Amaina and Earthworm. Two. Then second column, the actions, their actions are here. Okay, first one, Amma. What is Amma's action here? Push the pea into the garden, made a hole in the ground gave a bowl of peas to her mother got the cooker ready pecked at the pea what amma did yes amma got the cooker ready so draw a line to d next one avani avani of course it is gave a bowl of peas to her mother. Okay. Join Avani with C. Next, Chiki. Chiki. Pushed the pea into the garden. Chiki. Chiki, the cat, pushed the pea into the garden. Amaina. Yes. It's here. Pecked at the pea. An earthworm made a hole in the ground okay now take page number 40 next to page grammar part read these sentences amma cooks chiki pushes the pea seed the words in bold are called verbs a verb is an action word cooks that is a action word pushes that also an action word or verb look at these pictures choose the correct verbs from the box look at these pictures observe these pictures and choose the correct verbs from the box eat dance play laugh run read eat dance play laugh run read First one has been done for you. What is that? Yeah. What he does? Play. Play. The verb play suits for this picture. Now second one. What is the action or verb? Which action do we want to write here? Of course it is laugh. L A U G H. Laugh. Next one, what she is doing? Yes, eat, eat. Next one, run, run. Now next picture, fifth picture. What she does? Dance, dance. And here, read, read. Okay, children, complete this one. And come to next part. It is the symbol present tense. We have explained very well that in the video. Okay, now let us read. We use a verb in the symbol present tense when the action is a habit or habitual action. Amma eats lunch at 1 o'clock. That is a habit. Happens every day. It happens. That action happens every day. I go to school. 
that happens every day that time we use simple present tense is a fact or general truth the sun rises in the morning it can't change we add s or es to the verb when we use it with singular pronouns he she and it he sleeps she sleeps it sleeps here he she and it these subjects are singular we also add s when we use it with a proper noun or a singular noun radha sleeps it's a singular noun the cat sleeps the cat is a singular noun okay now next one next to page tick the correct verbs to complete these sentences have you listened here have you listened yeah two words are here in blue color okay one is correct one is wrong both are verbs but we have to choose the correct verb and put a tick mark on the correct verb okay this first one done sheba drink or drinks a glass of milk every day the correct answer is drinks why it is drinks why can't we write drink because sheba this noun is a singular okay so we should add s with verb drink is verb in this sentence now second one i walk or walks to school every morning i walk or walks which is the correct one can you say walk this is the correct verb why as i told you as i taught you what is that i we consider as plural i is singular but we consider it as plural okay so we should not add s with verb next one you also same method okay you is singular but all the rules are uh, for uh, plural it applicable for you you live or lives near the market which is the correct one it is live not lives next one we play or plays in the park we play or plays in the park which is the correct verb play or plays we you have to listen the noun or subject we is plural more than one so not plays play only play the sun set or sets in the evening the sun it's a general truth or fact so we should add s so this is the correct answer okay now next one match the words in a with the correct verb parts in b now i am not doing this one this is for you you do it yourself now we have completed this work and i explained it very well now try to do this one alone okay okay children thank you